Here's the new filter kit that we got. It's got a gasket and the filter. You also need some place to store 7.5 liters of old transmission fluid that you're going to take to your recycling depot. If you're wondering how to change the transmission fluid in this thing, all you got to do is put it up on ramps, take the filler cap off the top, and put a pan underneath it, unscrew the bolts on the lowest end first and work your way towards the top. It'll start draining, all the fluid will come out, and then just leave these two in, and then take these two out last, and that'll allow you to drip all the fluid into there without getting out all over the place. Alright, so after taking out the tranny pan, we can see that it's quite dirty. It probably does need a change. Look at that. Got all that black stuff. Make sure you do change your transmission fluid and filter. Look at that. Now after cleaning it in soap and water, we spray it down with some degreaser. This gets rid of all the little particles that could be abrasive within the transmission, so just make sure you get all the get all the particles off it. Spray it down nicely. Here's the magnet. Make sure you put it back in the same spot it came from. And then take out your filter. Replace the filter seal. Just use a flathead screwdriver, hammer it in the edge, and then use a needle nose plier to pull the old one out. Make sure you don't damage the edge of this too much. And if you want, you can take these three bolts out. These three bolts, take these solenoid valves out, clean them out. You can also, you don't need to, but you can take out the hydraulic lines and clean that out as well. All right, so now that I've cleaned the hydraulic lines, cylinder, and the piston here, you can put it back together. And install it again. And then put it all back together. Pop this, uh, check valve off, it just comes straight off, like that. Clean that up, I've already cleaned this one, and then reinstall it, and just push it back in. Put in your new filter. Put on your new gasket, put on the pan. You could oil this one up a little bit too. I like to do that with all the gaskets I put on. Tighten it up. Make sure you don't tight, over tighten these. If you over tighten one, it'll bend your bend the metal pan, and then you'll start to get leaks. So tighten them all up evenly, all the way around. Slowly increase the tightness of them, and then once they're all nice and snug, you're ready to fill it up. So to fill it up with fluid, you've got to take this bolt out of the side, as you can see here. After you got your gasket and the pan on, nice and tight. About eight liters came out, so fill it up with about six and then slowly fill it up from the top filler port until it starts leaking out here. And the engine's got to be running while you do this. And the car should be level as you can, so you can jack up the back if you want, make it level, and then with this open and the car running, keep filling it up, and once it starts to dribble, just stop filling it up, let it drip off the excess for a couple seconds, maybe 20 seconds, and then put that bolt back in. They've designed the overflow port so that it starts to drain out when the engine is warm and your tranny is full. So just keep filling it up until it starts to leak out of there. Alright, so now we've got it on and we're heating it up. Make sure you run it into neutral, let it fill up the gears a little bit. Then to reverse, let it fill those up a little bit. Put it into drive, let it fill that one up a little bit. Just repeat for each one until about 10 minutes have passed and the engine is warm. Although the radiator fluid is getting hot, the uh, transmission takes a while to heat up as well, so just let it run for a bit. You can rev it a bit to get the bubbles out. Engine's on, I've got it full. We're gonna wear a fill it up until it starts pouring out of that spout. It's gonna take about 10 minutes to warm up the engine, so turn it on and wait for a while first. Now that the engine's heating up, the fluid's pouring out. Once this slows down, you can plug it up, and that means your transmission fluid is topped up while your engine's nice and warm. So 
fluid has had a chance to get through all the gears. It's had a chance to warm up. It's about... It's at its operating temperature. The fluid won't expand much larger than that. So Now the flow is decreasing, and we can plug it up. And this means your transmission fluid is pretty much topped off, and you're ready to just drive. When you plug it in, you've got to be aware that the exhaust is really hot. So now we can use this leather glove, plug it in, tighten it up, and you are done filling up your transmission fluid and topping it off. And then put your filler cap back on, and that's it. It's at the proper level at that point, and you've just changed your transmission fluid.